preparing to become a registered doctor in Australia? Have you heard of the Australian Medical Council clinical exam? Watch this video till the end to learn all about it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Academically. I am Sunidhi Shah, your host and today I am going to dive deep into the AMC clinical examination also known as the AMC 2. We make videos for ambitious doctors from around the world. We talk about overseas registration exams, tips to build your career overseas, salary insights and everything else you ever need to know. By subscribing to our channel, you can find all this in one place. So, what is the AMC clinical examination? Guys, the AMC clinical examination is the registration exam for overseas doctors planning to migrate to Australia. This exam is conducted by the Australian Medical Council to ensure international medical graduates entering the Australian healthcare system possesses the necessary skill and knowledge required to deliver safe and effective care to the patients. The AMC exam has two parts. The first one is the written examination and the second one is clinical examination. Now, are you eligible for the clinical examination? If you have cleared the AMC written exam, you are good to go. Now that you are eligible, where should you go to take the AMC clinical examination? The clinical exam is usually conducted in Melbourne, Australia. But you guys are lucky because post-COVID, the clinical examinations are conducted online. Easy, right? You don't have to stress, you don't have to travel and you do not have to spend a lot of money. But you have to pay a fee. The fee for the clinical exam that is AUD 4391. 3991 plus 400 Levi. The payment should be made online. Now, when can you take the exam? Again, the clinical exam are quite convenient for you to take as they are scheduled thrice every year. You have dates available from February to November. So go ahead and schedule your exam as per your convenience. Now, what is the clinical exam like? So in the AMC clinical examination, you will have 16 assessed stations out of which two are not scored. The stations may use simulated patients or a videotaped patient presentations, other relevant materials such as chart, digital images and photographs. Apart from this, you have four rest stations. The rest stations that last 20 minutes each are also not scored. Now, we will discuss the elements of the assessment. So, the stations typically assess clinical skills relating to the presentations of medical, surgical, women's health, pediatrics and mental health. The elements included are history taking, examination, diagnostic formulation and management counseling education. Now, let's uncover another important aspect, the passing score of the clinical examination. The minimum passing score is 9 out of 14 stations. That is, if you score 9 or more than of the assessed stations, you will pass. If you score 8 or less of the 14 assessed stations, you won't be able to make it. Also, here are three things that you should do during your clinical examination presentation. Number one, understand the exam specifications. Number two, watch the candidate briefing video. Number three, review the reading material for the clinical exam suggested by the Australian Medical Council. To give wings to your medical dream abroad, Academically has designed a comprehensive AMC exam preparation course. This course is a blend of top training from industry experts, high quality study resources, networking opportunities and much more. For more information about our course, check out the link given in the description. If you find this video helpful, like and share it with your doctor friends and colleagues. If you have any questions about becoming a registered doctor in Australia, drop them in the comment section below and I will be happy to help. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, this is Sunidhi Shahi signing off.